Welcome to Really Random Tutorials. Today, I'll show you how to create characters in Pivot Animator. If you haven't seen my video on how to install Pivot Animator, please check it out. First, you're going to open up Pivot Animator. I'm going to maximize window. Then you can delete this character if you would like by making sure, make sure it's selected. You can do that by highlighting it and then clicking delete figures the X on the left side. Go to file, create figure type, and we're gonna delete everything so there's nothing but one line. We're gonna file add animation and name it as line. Here you can create you can create it the same way. However, the benefit is that you'll be able to attach certain limbs or parts of the body. That way you can modify it in the future. So we're going to start with our line. I'm going to click Shift D to duplicate. Highlight it. So now we're going to highlight the line. The Control C to copy and then control V to paste. Once you've done that, we're going to control V to paste it again. And now we're going to start changing the size. So each line is independent of each other. So you'll click on the yellow part of the line. Click over here on the join or unijoin uni button and select where you'd like to connect it. This way, later, you can detach or reattach certain parts of the body. That way they'll be one piece, or you can detach it to be more than one. So we're going to do this for the rest of the body. Is that you can create the lines to change size independently of the rest of the body. Now we have our character. So now we have our character. But now we need to add the head. So you go back to file, create figure type, and you change this line to a circle. And then we're going to fill in the circle. You go back to file, add animation. And once you've that, done that, you'll have a circle for your head. So now we're going to add a neck by joining it to the rest of the body. Make it kind of small. Go to the head, join it to the neck. Then we're going to size it using control. And this way you can create more accurate characters to what you would like. Another thing you can do with your characters is you could add clothing to them. And now, to add clothes to this character, you, it's best if you lay out your character like this so everything will be nice and even with that you're working with. And I'm going to I'm going to resize this a little bit by clicking on there and then control to shorten it. Now we're going to add pants. 
So you'll go to edit figure type and make sure the transparency is on. When you go to edit and click transparency, if you don't have it selected, you will not be able to see what you're working with. We're going to maximize the screen, take this line, we're going to start at the knee joint. And we're going to click on the red and control to shorten it. So now we're going to click S, make it static, because you want all the clothes to be static so they don't change. Then L to create a line. It's best to start with this part of the leg first, otherwise you'll have a difficult time attaching it. Make everything static, and then L for a line. Static, L for a line. And make sure you end them both around the same spot. To finish that, you're going to want to fill in that portion of the leg. So you'll have to do L to create a new line and drag it so you end up filling it in. S for static, L for line. And you'll do this all the way throughout this portion of the leg. And once you're finished, make sure they're all static, otherwise you'll have to go back and fix that. Go to File, Add Animation. We're going to name it Top. And you click OK. Now, before you work on this, it's best to copy the character. So we're going to highlight it, Control c to copy, Control v to paste, and move it to the side. That way, if we would like to add changes, you won't have to create a brand new character. Now we're going to go to the top part, the top leg, Control c and Control v to paste it, so we don't have to create the other leg. We're going to attach it using the unijoin figure to this portion of the leg. And that's the other one. We're going to copy it again and paste it so that we have that leg for later. And once you finish this, you're going to, you'll see that it doesn't line up properly. It'll look weird. So we're going to use a mirror or a flip tool to flip it around, and you'll see it'll line up much better. If it doesn't line up, you can manipulate the leg a little bit to change how much it, it is. You'd like it to be as flush with the leg as possible. We're going to unijoin it and select the knee. Once you've done that, you'll see that it's paired to the leg pretty well. None of the other limbs, except for this one joint, will manipulate it. So now you'll want to work on the bottom portion. So you'll go back to edit figure type. You'll bring this line down to the ankle, or wherever you, whichever circle you want to start with. And you'll just control to size it down. And if you want, you can use Alt to make it thicker or thinner. We'll just leave it like this for now. And we'll click, and we'll slide it down a little bit. S to make it static. We're going to duplicate it. We're just going to connect it there. Make sure it's the right size you would like. By using Control, S to make it static. L to create a new line. And we're going to go through the rest of this portion of the leg doing the same method. And once you've finished, make, make sure they're all static. And once again, you're going to go through and fill in the lines. And once you've finished, make sure they're all static. Go to File, Add Animation, and Label it. Once you've done that, you'll see that I made some parts aren't static. So I'm going to go back and fix that. So I'll go back to the edit. And you'll click around, see where it says dynamic, and make sure it's static by clicking F on your keyboard. So it may, might take you a few tries like this if you can't find it. So we're just going to highlight all the bad ones and click X to delete. And yes. Yes. Yes.
Now I'll take this. You'll do Control C, copy, Control V to paste. We'll do it one more time. Now we're going to add this portion of the leg. So you can move this around however you'd like it. So it'll pair up to the leg pretty well. And then we're going to go unit join. And click on that joint. This way, the leg, pieces of the leg move independently of each other. Back over to here, flip it. Make sure it matches up how you'd like. I'm pretty satisfied with this right here. Select it, unit join, and add it. That's how you can create clothing for your characters. If you want, you can color it. I'll select one that you have not used yet. Make sure you copy one of your characters completely. I use Control C and Control V to paste it. And then we can ma manipulate this character. You can take this and change the color so that your pants can be different colors. So we're going to copy and paste it. We're going to unijoin, connect it back over here. And this is one way you can create your characters to have different colors. And you'll flip it, make it the same color. And if this happens, where it's on the bottom, you'll have to go over here and click the raise button. It'll raise it to the top of your animation. Then you're going to unijoin and add it on. This way when you're creating your characters, you can manipulate them with the clothes being independent. And you can also change the colors. Thanks. Thanks for watching.